What do you get when you combine an actor, a supermodel, a singer, a songwriter, an author, and a drag queen all in one? Our next guest, of course. He's the author of Work It, RuPaul's Guide to Life, Liberty, and the Pursuit of Happiness. Excuse me, the Pursuit of Style. He also rules the runway with his new hit show in its second season, RuPaul's Drag Race. Take a look. Ru, I cannot believe that you dismembered our first lady and stole Michelle Obama's arms. They are perfect, <laughs> as are you. Okay, judges, for this week's challenge, inspired by Miss Scarlett O'Hara, the girls had to turn out a breathtaking drag look using just curtains and some used home furnishings. Are you ready to see what they've created? Gentlemen, start your engines and may the best woman win. Love it. Please welcome the one and only RuPaul. <laughs> That these suits that you wear, and the last few times I've seen you, you've had on these. I know that you're a man of a particular age, but can I just call them cute? <laughs> these suits are so cute. They're slightly flooded at the bottom. You are just, your figure is so terrific. You just look great, and your feet are long. <laughs> wow. Well, I have big feet. I have really big feet. Yes. yes. So I'm glad that you're here. Finally, we got to do this. It's awesome. Yeah. I love it. Well, and, and the mustache. Ooh. I've never seen you with a mustache. I do lots of different things. You know, I I'm a, I'm a shapeshifter. Yes, you yes. Know? And we all are. And yeah. that's what the book is really about. The book is about making it work for yourself. Yep. Shaping and shifting and changing and doing whatever. I like to use all the colors in the crayon box. Exactly. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, do people recognize you um, out of drag? They do. You know, on, on the show, RuPaul's Drag Race, I appear in and out of drag as both the mentor to the kids right. and then, of course, during the main stage But thing. I mean, even before Drag Race started, like, I would know you on the street. If I saw you in the street, I'd be like, oh, it's Ru. Yeah, yeah, because you know bone structure, yes. honey. How you doing? Your bones yeah. are structured yeah. very yeah. well. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You know what, honestly, you know, we all have an internal GPS system, and you, I read energy from people. Like, I'll see someone, I was at Sundance once, and I saw someone walking down the street with a parka and all this stuff. That's I could tell by the walk it was Goldie Hawn, and it sure was. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. I can do that also. So I always decide that why do celebrities go in disguise? Your true fans know exactly who you are no matter what. So this book is really incredible, and... Um, I wanted to take a look at some of the pictures uh -huh. and uh, tell us how this book came about. Well, you know, people have always written to me and asked about the secrets. And this book contains all the secrets every real girl should know that every drag queen does know. But no, it's not only just for drag queens and girls. It's for anybody who wants to really understand how to really work an angle. You know, I didn't set out to do drag and show business. I found it as an angle for me to work. In fact, I'm going to be signing this book at the Columbus Circle Borders. Friday at 7 p.m. So let's get that is out. This terrific, too. And, I, you know, a picture of you that I do plan on framing and putting somewhere very special is Rubamas. Oh, the, <laughs> the Rubamas. All right, take a look. RuPaul is Michelle Obama. RuPaul is Barack Obama. And I think that you look absolutely fabulous. <laughs> but there is no disguising you. Your teeth and your smile are yes. lovely. Um, how did this book come about? Well, you know, I, I, look, there are two types well, that, of that people. That picture, rather. Well, that, that picture was actually was having breakfast with, Mich uh, with Monica Lewinsky. Really? Believe it or not, Get that out. was her idea. I was having breakfast with her, and she said, you know, you should uh, do a, a, a photo of both <coughs> you as the Obamas. And that's exactly how it came about. How close are you to her? I, you know, we just have breakfast and, yeah. and go shopping and things like that. That's you know? close. Yeah. Your girlfriend. She's my girlfriend. I love it. Yeah. Love it. Love it. All right, look, you're going to stick around, please. There's so much more I need to ask you. All right, everybody, we've got to take a break, but we're going to find out about RuPaul's first kiss. <laughs> that could be interesting. And his parent love. If there is one, keep it here.
I like the Asian girl. Um, we're talking to RuPaul and Drag Race is yes, on logo. Yes. Uh, the Asian girl, I like Tyra. Uh -huh. And I also like um, the heavy set black woman. Mystique. And I'm, I'm watching. Yeah. And also, you know, you guys, <laughs> Ru never had to come out of the closet because his family. Yeah, no, I was never, I was never in the closet. You know, in fact, when the kids in the neighborhood said, um, Miss Thing, you're gay. You know, so I, uh, I never, it was never an issue. You yeah. know, but my mother was such a rebel that she never uh, it said, you know, you can't do this, you can't do that. Now, when last I saw you, I believe you were very in love, and and are you still in love? I'm, I'm not. I'm in love with you. I'm in love with life, but I'm gotcha. not in the romantic sense of the Diane Warren songs and the Nancy Myers pictures. That is, listen, you guys, that's a hoax. There is a love that is real, and it involves respect. It involves sacrifice. Yes. It involves things that they don't write songs about. Yes. You know, and I'm looking for that, but, uh, you know, I'm open to it. Now, uh, it's first kiss February here yeah. on Wendy, and I want to know all about your first kiss. My first kiss, I was, listen, I kissed cousins in, in, as a kid, you know, uh, girls in the neighborhoods, uh, right? But uh -huh. the first real kiss that uh -huh. made my head, my eyes roll back in the back of my head and my knees lock was this 36-year-old um, uh, man. I was 18 years old. Oh. And uh, I swear, my knees buckled. I was swept away, and it was beautiful. Wonderful. Yes. I love it. Yes. Sounds very romantic. I love you. Yeah. In drag, out of drag. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the fabulous RuPaul. Be sure to check out RuPaul's Drag Race Monday night at 10 on Logo. And RuPaul's book is called Working It. It's in bookstores now, and everyone in our studio audience is going home with a fabulous copy. Yeah. We'll be right back with one more juicy hot topic about Sandra Bullock. Jennifer Hudson at the We Are the World recording session. Find out who that is next.